gets it out of the zone. Luke Let's clam scores! A center ice dump in. I don't know if that hit a bulldog, hit the ice, or the just plant floated straight by. 159 in. It's five straight games. The Bulldogs have given up an early one. And that one I'll need to see again. It took a bounce at the hash marks and went straight upstairs. What a way to get your first career goal. Well, put the puck on net, good things happen. one nothing. Clippers the score. On the left and right wings respectively against Kai Daniels. Daniels a fantastic stat line. One on him in a moment as he wins the draw. Back with McIntosh gets it. Right corner centered in front one timer. Great save by Kamalov Sacco. Right between the hash marks to keep it one nothing. That was a face off loss so the Bulldogs just went and got and really created something off of it. Clippers on the period Dakota McIntosh. Over the line, right side, one on two. Had to just dump it in deep back in the net. Van Sickle pursuing on Murner. Gave him a bump, couldn't find it. Hewitt reversed it. Benito showing some passion, steals it. El Germini scores! <laughs> Great job first by Van Sickle to get on him, not make it easy. I think the word I said was passion for Benito. He had a obvious Jumped to his stride as he stepped in and stole it, centered it, and Will Alger pulled the trigger. And I talked about him dishing off in the pass. Up offside, will dump it in. Caden Trombley caught off Waters, found, however, by Payant, who walks to the net and scores. A gorgeous backhand, top corner, back bar down finish. Allowed to just walk right in, and the seas just parted for them. Oh boy, was that pretty. Clippers with their second lead of the game. Payon has his ninth of the year. Oh man. Caden Trombley. Bodies arriving, puts it down the left side. Benito walks it, drops it. Elger. Centering one timer, Van Sickle. Blocked in front, still up for grabs. Benito hot in after it, stole it. Van Sickle finds it. Benito cross ice, right point. Charbonneau down the right half wall. Elger pulled it around the pile again. Trombley walks in, left circle. Rear shot, he scores! I don't know if that's tipped or not. If it's not, it's probably first. And it's a 2-2 two -two tie. Then Sickle is saying, go get the puck. And Kate Trombley, if you didn't hear. Play the bank, Clippers change. And it's a breakaway. It's Gendron in alone. Fake scores. A sneak attack on a late change. Came out behind everybody. Bulldogs had such a fantastic opportunity to take their first lead seconds prior, and it's another breakaway. It's another fake leg kick, backhand high finish over the glove of Hedquist. Boy, that's got to really hurt. Agwell one time it back in the net. Charbonne will try to tie it up. Puck rim down to the right side. Ethan Mystery. Checked by Matt Kersonis. Shoveled it back to the right point. Craig. Left point, Daniels, top of the left circle. Goal line, stuff in, scores! Brody Waters on a quick D to D, down to the goal line. It took 30, down to the final 30 seconds of the power play. Clippers have opened up a two goal lead. Just get it down low, get it quick on net. And Brody Waters has his 14th of the year. On a power play board bounce, relayed on the backhand by Tardif for Payon. Benito couldn't find that. Tardif, left corner, left half ball, Payon. Walks down to the corner himself, banks it back to the left point, Cameron. Watched by Van Sickle to an open near side, Charbonneau. Couldn't clear it as Payon tied his stick up. Centered it in front, Jinron scores! Hedquist never saw it past the screen. Clippers are two for three on the power play. And it's 5-2. 24-0, but they're down and with five minutes to play in Wenatchee by a two-to-one count to the Wild. Matt Kersonis wins it. One-timer scores! Zeke Nicholson, a face-off win, sneaks it under the blocker on Aiden Campbell, and it's 5-3. 
credit Mason Croucher. Used his feet, exited his zone, just got it on net. It seemed like nothing at the time. It seems like something now, doesn't it? Face up, win, straight back, quick release by three. Time it out. Kersonis supports Klassen in turn. Avoids traffic, cross ice, last circle McIntosh. Around one man in Waters, tries to walk in, lost it, place, wrist shot, save, rebound, jam and attempt, still loose, somehow stays out, a dog pile in the paint, still no whistle, they score! I guess that's a goal, I'm not sure, the official didn't signal, the puck went in, the horn went off, the light flickered on, I think it's 5-4, they'll talk about this. Does Kersonis get it? No idea. The officials were well positioned to not blow it dead. As we see in the overhead replay, it's loose under a clipper. Certainly no goalie has covered that. And yes, it's indeed pumped clearly in prior to the whistle sounding. And I think it's 5-4 on the power play. Joe Martin says left near side. Left-handed circle, right-handed shot again against Charles Tartum. 27.6 on the clock. False start for everybody. Clock didn't move. We'll do it again. Lays puck through the legs of Benito. He got it back to the line for place. Right side one timer. Wismer. Stick save in the air. Loose puck stays out. Elger. Another shot stopped by Campbell. Still loose in a scramble in front. Campbell dives out. He does not cover the whistle sounds. 15.2 seconds to play in the third. 